let's oh say can you see what it's all about. Okay, bad jokes aside, the 500L, but first things first, the 500L and the 500 only share a name. Otherwise, they're complete 6 inches in length and 6 inches in height. The 500L offers 42% more interior space than the Cinquecento. Think about this car. Uh, one of them being how big it is. Uh, you get inside and you realize how much more and it also feels bigger because of this whole panoramic view idea that Fiat is trying to let in a lot of natural light. So it does feel open air almost. With a higher curve, so it's fitted with the same 1.4 liter multi-air turbo found in the Abarth. Also a carryover from the Abarth is the being on the front, they're found on all four corners. Fiat has catered to those who don't like rowing their own gears by getting a six-speed transmission. And for next year, a conventional six-speed automatic will also be available. Speaking of pop, easy, trekking, and lounge. The most SUV-like is the trekking. With more rugged front and rear arches and all-season tires, the trekking was built specifically with the